Exhale for four, three, two, one. There are so many concerns um, in entering any industry, um, but I think the arts industry is extremely specific in the type of people that they want and the type of stories that they want to be told. Issue is, where do you go after you've studied? So you'll find that students, in, uh, students that I'm working with at the moment in honours, both directors and actors, they want to know, so oh, I finish, I finish my honours degree, then how do I get into the industry? What do I do? My name's Ingrid Wilde and I am a lecturer at Rhodes University Drama Department. I'm currently working with three wonderful young new directors in their honours programme. Art does have the power to say things that are perhaps not normally said. Every society needs arts and culture because arts and culture are what, are what keep our souls alive. They're what keep our imaginations alive. They give us a sort of breadth and they give a, a, a people empathy and they give a people understanding of what it's like to be in somebody else's shoes, both literally and metaphorically. Art is a form of expression. The world tells you no, society tells you no, um, families tell you no all the time. Art to me feels like a big yes mm -hmm. to everything under the sun. It rubs against the grains of conventional thinking and makes people think and engage with the world in new ways. It acknowledges that everyone has different ways of being and seeing and experiencing the world. So I think in doing so, we're also igniting a new consciousness within all of us. Art to me is color, mostly. To me, it's, it's color, it's queer, it's non-binary, it, it takes different forms and it has different aspects to it. And I feel like it also has different perspectives. Art is really just, it's your interpretation of the world and your own mind. I feel like with art it comes with a lot of emotions that we carry, empathy, sympathy, uh, love, hate, it, it brings it all into this one motion. Art is is an everyday thing for me. I cannot imagine my life without it. I'm a very expressive and dramatic person, so why not take who I am and make money out of it? <laughs> Literally make an entire career out of it. Um, I live for the arts. My journey with the arts started here a very, very long time ago, since I was five years old. My parents put me in uh, arts and culture classes and that broadened to singing classes, dancing. So I am so interested in anything that's artistic. And I decided when I was in varsity to, you know, take my passion very seriously. So that's how I dived into this, this um, industry. I've always been into drama. I've always been into theater and film from the moment there was a TV in front of me. It started when I was nine years old and we had a teacher come in with the idea of setting up a play for the little like grade threes. And I was a part of it and we all had a, a small role to play, but I, I, I loved being in that role. I loved being on stage. I loved the, the, the standing ovations, the applauds. I, I loved it all, the cheers. And I felt like since then, it's just really been face forward drama. Mm -hmm. But coming from such a small town in a small suburb with people who don't like the idea of being creative as a profession. They see it as a hobby. It, 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 it was kind of tough to try and voice that out, even now still. But there's just no looking back. South Africa has a financial cake that is only just so large. 
and not a lot of it is given to arts and culture. There needs to be um, more improvements. Um, the arts and culture um, industry needs to be taken more seriously, firstly. Um, we need more fans, we need more support. There was this thing a few years ago, it was um, training on Twitter, hashtag open the industry. People are hungry to, to tell stories and to change the narrative, but we only need the opportunity to actually do that. There's so much we still need to conquer before we can truly call this place a platform for culture and creativity. I don't feel like the government does right by artists. They do right by them only when it suits them. They can credit us only when it's convenient to them. Um, however, for the rest of the time, I just don't think that they do. They feel that they have any use for us. I think it's a shame that we are just not highly regarded and we continuously have to prove our worth in the industry but people don't recognize what an essential we are. How do I get into the industry? What do I do? I'm obviously going to be auditioning and you know um, sending my portfolio out um, everywhere. What I want to achieve when I'm eventually in the industry is to produce stories about black joy and black pride. Well I plan on utilizing the many skills that I have learned over the course of my degree. I consider myself a multidisciplinary artist in that I have skills from directing. I love physical performance, movement, embodiment, and I love music. Art takes real time to think about, to, to carry forward. And for me, I, I, I want to take my time to realize what I truly want to do, what I truly want to spread out. There's multiple stories, as I said, but to come down to which story I want to start with, that, that takes time.